because they decided to approve the agreement, but at the same time, they decided to continue to expand and uh, enforce the existing Jewish settlements in the occupied territories within what they called it a long-term plan, and they are convening tomorrow again to discuss the construction of another 12 bypass roads in the West Bank, and they are putting another conditions in front of the implementation of the agreement. So I believe that it's only to, uh, uh, to give the impression that they are implementing the agreement, but the conditions they are putting will not allow the implementation. Every agreement should be based upon mutual reciprocity, and that is the most important thing. If that is an interim agreement or in the future in permanent agreement. And though we would like to move ahead, we have decided to do that, but it should be based upon true mutual reciprocity. I'll be the Hamishim Shana.